Today we're going to look at the subtraction strategy of using the standard algorithm. An algorithm is just a word that means a strategy that we use to solve a problem. The standard algorithm is the strategy that we most often use when solving subtraction problems. Today we're going to look at the problem 435 minus 287. To begin the standard algorithm, we line up our numbers so that the place values line up one above the other. We take 435 minus 287. I've made sure that my ones are together, my tens are together, and my hundreds are together. That way I can subtract ones from ones, tens from tens, and hundreds from hundreds. When I begin the standard algorithm, I start with the ones place. That's in case I need to regroup and get some more ones from the tens place. Five minus seven, hmm, I have a problem because in, if I have five, I don't have enough to take away seven. So I'm going to need to regroup. What that means is I'm going to move over to the tens place and I'm going to take one of these tens. So now I have two tens. And I know that in every 10, there are 10 ones. So I'm going to take this 10 out of the one tens place, and I'm going to move it to the ones place. I get 10 tens from the 10, and five ten, five, sorry, 10 ones, and five ones to make 15 ones altogether. Now I can subtract 15 minus 7. 15 minus 7 is 8. So I know that in the ones place, I'm going to have 8. Now I can subtract the tens place. If I have 2, I can't take away 8. So again, I need to regroup to get more tens. To find more tens, I can look to the hundreds place. I know that in every hundred, there are 10 tens. Well, if I take away 100 to make that 3, I get 10 more tens. I had 2, so 10 more makes 12. Now I can take 12 minus 8, which is 4. So my answer will have a 4 in the tens place. Now I just need to subtract the hundreds. 3 minus 2 is simple enough. I get 1. So my answer is 148. 